Hey BHIers, today I'm going to show you how I made these nightstands for my bedroom makeover. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on the big reveal. I can't find my phone stand so we're just gonna have to go vlog style on this one. I'm making nightstands today for my master bedroom. If you remember, I made nightstands for my guest bedroom, like this one here. And I had a ton of scrap wood left over, so I am turning those into nightstands for my master bedroom. Only thing that makes me a little bit nervous is I'm going to do drawers for the first time and I'm not too confident about it. Let's just see how it goes. I have these pieces left over. I originally made this nightstand 18 inches and it was just way too small for the space so I had to make bigger ones. So now I will sand these down and use them for my new nightstands. And then I have this piece here and this small piece will be a side, side piece. So I'll get to cutting. For the shell of my nightstands, I made 45 degree angle bevel cuts. I wanted it to look really streamlined. I could have just had um, flat end cuts, but I just wanted it to be extra, I guess. I don't know. I learned how to do bevel cuts and I just haven't stopped since. I'm cutting a one by 12 piece of wood into four 18 inch pieces and four 12 inch pieces. That'll give me the shells of both of the nightstands. So one of the downfalls of having an outside workshop is that if it starts to rain, it kind of puts a damper on things. <laughs> damper on things. I'm so funny. But it is starting to rain now, so I'm going to try to get as much as I can in before it turns into a downpour. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Oh, well, the rain has caught up with me. I had to close up shop. I just put a tarp over my table because I'm hoping that the rain stops and I could come back I, out here. I hear it. Say hi to Cat. <laughs> Wait, who am I saying hi to? Our YouTubers. Oh no, girl, <laughs> get me off. I thought it was your mom. I need to eat. Me too. I'm gonna make myself a quesadilla. <laughs> Well, I had all plans to record how I assembled these and then I just kind of got carried away and I'm almost done. But I have one piece left that I will try to record. This is what I use to assemble. I have my speed square, my nail gun, nail gun, <laughs> nail gun, wood glue, wood filler for any imperfections and the tape to hold it together while I put the nails in. When I'm working by myself, the tape makes it easier to hold the wood together while I put the nails in. Don't get consumed with perfect bevel cuts. I'm not there yet, but with a little bit of sanding and a little bit of wood filler, you're good to go. It'll look like perfection. So after about 25 tries, the rain stopped long enough so that I can sand these puppies down. Now they look nice and smooth. There's no more imperfections. Well, there's always imperfections, but nothing that you could tell from afar. I didn't have enough scrap wood to finish up my drawers for the nightstand, so I raided Kat's uh, garage for whatever scrap wood she had. And I got these nice pieces, so now these nightstands are really gonna cost me only the drawer slides. Everything else is wood we already had. I put my drawers together by connecting all of the four and a half inch pieces to the bottom base piece, the 14 inch piece. I used nails to put it together. Screws would have been the better option. It would have been stronger, but for my nightstands, I'm only putting little things in there, so the strength wasn't necessary. I went the lazy route. I did mess up here a little bit. I don't know how it ended up being so crooked. Um, luckily, that's fixable. Clamps are your best friend. Don't panic, just put a clamp on it. Picking colors might be my kryptonite. I can barely match my socks, let alone paint colors that are gonna go together. I wanted something to go with my gray bed, but I also wanted it to be natural. I'm going for a very light, very zen look in my bedroom. So I wanted to keep it pretty neutral, but also not raw wood look. And flagstone was the color I chose and I ended up loving it so much. I swear I would get so much more work done if I would just get off my phone. I continued on with the process by putting a finish on my nightstands after I stained it. I used a satin finish. I kind of might have gone semi-gloss if I were to do it again, but the satin came out nice. Oh. 
I measured where I wanted my drawers to sit so that I can install my drawer glides. At this point, I didn't know the heartache that was about to come. I'm still just thinking everything's all peachy keen. I left three quarters of an inch in the front before the drawer glides so that the face will fit flush when the drawer pushes in. Now there's probably a better way to install drawer glides other than stacking a bunch of pieces of wood together, but this honestly worked for me and I'd probably do it the same way. Um, if I leave it up to cutting a piece of wood that size, I'll probably get my measurements wrong. So this is a little more dummy proof. No, no, no. This was a lesson learned slash I knew better, should have done better situation. I just got in these drawer slides, but I already made my drawers. I was just trying to guesstimate what the width would be here. I thought it'd be half an inch, but either it's a little bit more than that or my measurements were off. But when I try to put it in, of course, it's too big, of course. So now I'm gonna go sand this down. This is me in disbelief. I'm literally just like, how, Jeanette, how? And then I had to just suck it up and get to work. I ended up putting it through the table saw. I shaved down about an eighth of an inch and that worked. Round two of drawer installs. This one obviously went a little bit easier since I already made my mistakes on the first one. Did the same thing, stacked up the pieces of wood on each side and put my drawer glides three quarters of an inch from the front so that the face of the drawer will fit flush. For the part of the drawer glides that attaches to the actual drawer itself, I did those flush to the front of the drawer and then a an inch and a quarter from the bottom and I used my speed square to make sure it was uh, straight, of course. Now here is the moment of truth. I was so nervous and traumatized from the last time and when it got stuck a little right here, I was like, oh, hell no. but. It's just the drawer glides. When you put it in, it just takes a little while for it to understand what it's supposed to do, I guess. So after a couple of pulls, it started to become a lot smoother. I tested the face to make sure it fit flush. Got a little nervous right there, but it just wasn't pushed in all the way. And it fit perfectly also. This one was coming out so well. I get nervous when things go well the first time. And I'm just like, what is about to happen? Because there's gonna be something. But there wasn't. Installing the poles were pretty easy. I just measured the center of everything, the center of each side of the wood and the center of the pole. And I just drilled my holes and screwed it in. To make sure the drawer face sat perfectly, I did that part last. I put wood glue on and I clamped it to the exact measurements that I wanted it. I did about an eighth of an inch in between the shell and the drawer face and I clamped it on. Once the glue dried, I put a couple nails in it. I look rough today, very rough. But after a lot of heartache, we have a nightstand with working drawers. The drawers work, y'all. The drawers work. They work. But, of course, there's another problem. The problem is, I put the nightstand in the space and floating shelves just 
aren't gonna work. So now this project went from being almost free to $70. I bought these metal legs that I think will look really cute. Um, they were a lot more expensive than I would have liked them to be, but I think it'll be worth it and it's still a lot less than buying two nightstands. And I learned a lot. For the legs, I didn't know exactly where I wanted them to sit. So for the first one, I did them all an inch from the outside and I took a look at it, I liked it, but I wanted to see what it looked like if they were flush on the outside. So I did the second one flush. I put them down, I compared them, and I ended up liking the inch from the outside better, so I changed the other one. Now to see how the nightstands look in the bedroom. Don't mind my bed. If you follow us on Instagram, you saw that I made that also for this bedroom makeover, and I'm waiting for my bedding all to come in, so it looks a little rough right now. This is a complete bedroom makeover, so we will be doing all the decorating, everything in here in videos to come. Just wait. Once the nightstands were placed to my liking, I started putting some stuff on them to make them feel a little more homey. I found these lamps at At Home on clearance, and I thought they would be really cute here, but the base is actually a little large, so back to the drawing board on that. So my appearance is just getting worse and worse as this video goes on, but we're just not going to talk about that. I was having so much trouble with these armrests trying to get it together, so you know who I had to call. You know. Come on in, special guests. Come on in. Had to bring in the professional. I'm here, guys. <laughs> had to bring in the professional, so now we can make these nightstands pretty.